the Great Western Railway's line from Railbon all the way through to Barmouth opened in sections between 1861 and 1868. And although the whole line was planned to close for passenger services on the 18th of January 1965, as per the Beeching report, services were actually suspended in December 1964 following flooding. However, the section between Railbon and Langochlan was subsequently reopened on the 17th of December for passenger trains and lasted only until the 18th of January and freight services until 1968 when the line was completely closed. And in this walk today, we're going to concentrate on the section from Trevor. We're going to head along the valley where we'll meet up with the Langochlan Canal at many points, going past Sunbank where there was a disaster back in 1945, before ending up where the heritage line begins at Langochlan itself at the station. So coming down off the A539 and leading on Station Road, coming off Station Road, we're on the former track bed look. And just down here was the site of Trevor Station. Now that closed to freight before it did passengers, November 1964 for freight. And also February, I believe, 1965 for passengers. Look down here. And just off the path off station lane, you get the track bed proper look. And there's this beautiful little bridge, A539, goes above that. It's behind a substation look. If you want to come and see it for yourself, it looks a little bit flooded. So I'm not really gonna venture down any further. So if we go down that way, you may have seen a video I've done where I pop into a culvert with a bridge going through it. That's about a quarter of a mile down there. So that's put us directly where the station is. So Trevor Station here, two platforms. Trevor Station opened on the 2nd of June in 1867. It comprised of two platforms and eventually it would close to passengers on the 18th of January 1965. Unusually for closed stations, goods services ceased slightly earlier than passengers on the 2nd of November in 1964. But quite extraordinarily, it looks like the platforms are still here and I'm stood on them because there's a drop look. Yeah, look, see that bit of stone through there? The platform is still there and it dips down like double track width and then goes up again over there. I didn't expect that at all. I can continue on along this platform. I'm absolutely astounded. I don't think this would still be present. Platform edge again there, look. See that bit of brickwork, look. Wow. It's another little bit of a reminder there, look. Don't know what that would have been. We can get up on it again, look. That's bonkers, isn't it? Yeah, let's uh, attempt to jump down. There we go. Look at that. So Trevor Station gone into the mist. It's like a retaining wall just over there. It's really, really foggy, but the sun is starting to come. So I'm hoping it's going to burn it away because it's going to cause problems with drone flying otherwise. Not that I'm going to fly around there anyway because it's all built up, but further down it'd be nice if I could get it up. And you did just hear me mentioning a retaining wall on the right hand side as I'm walking away. And in this fine image, you can see this passenger working comprising of three carriages coming in towards Trevor Station and that retaining wall is visible on the right hand side. And note the good sidings on the left hand side too, so still quite a bit of activity when this photograph was taken. It is quite muddy underfoot, it is a solid surface, it has been put down as a solid surface at some point. Mist is slowly starting to lift, so Trevor Station about a quarter of a mile back. I can see further in front than I could do, say, 15 minutes ago. Hopefully it'll let me put the drone up soon because I'm coming more and more into the countryside. A little overbridge down there. So there's a bridge, look, we're going over it. It's still got ballast down, look. Look at that. It's all right, isn't it? Can't really pick up a road name for this, but it's only a narrow one, so it might not have a name. Again, if you come in to walk this, Adequate footwear, that's what I've got on, because um, it is rather messy in places. That's what the bridge looks like from down below. 
hopefully we'll find more features along this route. So I had to abandon the track bed because as I was walking further this way, there was cattle and it's all muddy look. Look at the state of this down here, I don't know if there's some sort of work going off or what down there. Not sure how far it's going to be like this. If I cross onto the other side, look, it's exactly the same. Can't get down there. But Sunbank Station was just up there. We'll be going along the canal very, very soon. It runs side by side for quite a distance. Look at all the pick marks on these coping stones, look. So let's push on towards the next station and see if anything remains. And we need to get back on the track bed, don't we? So it crosses the Langotten Canal just here, look, bridge 39W. Water's quite clear, I don't know if you can pick that up. Yeah, you can see the bottom, look. Bought a boat down here about 12, 13 years ago. It was really, really good. Um, access denied again, look, for the track bed. Proving to be a bit of a battle, this is. I'll show you what it looks like the other side, but there is no way up onto the track bed currently. Now then, what do we have here? So we've got farm access, isn't it? And a lovely bridge going over the top. Still looks like we're not gonna get up there, but at least we're still following it and we can see things that were related to the railway. Let's go to the other side. Yeah. We're not getting up there. Not yet. So we'll leave that behind and I'll keep following it on. Little culvert down there, look. Just make that out. It's a quaint little thing, isn't it? You see it right down there. So I've taken advantage of the canal for the time being. Track bed is just immediately on my left. Still can't get to it. It's an accessible Sunbank station was down here. That had two platforms, but a very, very short life. Opened later than all the other stations in 1905 and shut way before the other stations in 1950. Don't think there's anything left of that. And I imagine it was more of a halt than a station too. For much of the canal's journey through the countryside between Trevor and Langoclan, it entwined with the former railway line that closed back in 1965. And just around here was the site of Sunbank Holt. That opened in 1905 and closed by 1950. But this picture we can see just here shows the close proximity of the railway line and the canal with the towpath in between. In 1945, there was a fatal train crash that occurred below the canal right here, caused by a breach of the canal bank. After a day's heavy rainfall on the 10th of September, the canal bank gave way a few meters east of where there's now a picnic bench by the towpath. Water rushed from the canal and broke up a large gap below the railway line. And at 4.51 a.m., the first train of the day, conveying parcels from Chester to Barmouth, approached the gap in darkness. The locomotive, a great western railway locomotive, threw across the gap and half buried itself in the bank on the far side. Driver Jones sadly died instantly as the cab was crushed. The fireman was thrown from the cab and buried in fallen earth but freed himself and walked away to raise the alarm. And a few fine photographs here taken of the clear up operation right after the accident. So you can see the strewn metalworks all over the hillside during the aftermath. In this image, you can see it from the far distance. Look, look at the locomotive tender on the right hand side. You have to wonder 
how that was removed from there because it must have weighed quite a heavy amount so whether it's still there well some might say that it actually is and it's just buried and here is a bit of a working going over the repaired track work look you can see all the hillside has been reinforced and repacked and new track laid on top and this image shows the railway in better happier days i believe this picture is hanging up in the sun in pub nearby and it shows a working going across the line after the flood and derailment taken place a quick look at rail map online again to see where all of this happened so you got sunbank station just down here sunbank halt and the embankment that came down from the canal and the big flooding incident that washed the track away happened around about here also noticed there was also a historic tramway going up towards multiple quarries leading away from the canal and the railway which also included an incline up the hill so that is the track bed there immediately to my left canals right there look a539 right there so road canal railway it's hard to think that the one that was probably here first is still going strong not a lot of traffic today if any at all but narrow boats along here i think it's a bit of a bottleneck at times narrows off down here in some places but we'll talk about that on a different video look at the old overflow down there that's an overflow from the canal bridge number 11 i believe that is it's marked up on that left hand side pillar canal's there so there must have been a time where the water could be manually let out of the canal to drain it and that's where it'd go but i can't see where it'd go other than into the fields down there quite high above the track bed now it's all the way down there look look at the river glistening it's still quite misty over there back towards trevor but it is clearing up this way we've got to get back down on the track bed again surely Oh, that's some force, didn't it? God, oh, blimey. You wouldn't like to walk about with that. Back on the track bed, finally. Left Sunbank Station behind, and Langockland is next. Probably around about less than a mile, I think, down there. Quite an embankment up that side, and a bit of an embankment on this side. We're running alongside the River D now, look. That's really bellowing and bulging underneath. The currents must be extremely strong down there. Main road's still up there, heading into Langockland. Pretty featureless, but it's a decent footpath. All in all, this railway has been pleasant at times. The scenery is beautiful, you can't question that. In terms of accessibility, I'd say maybe half, just shy of half of the actual route from Roban is off limits unfortunately but we've still got to follow it and we still looks like we're going to finish on the track bed now towards our final destination I ought to start rating these railway walks didn't I? now we've got a nice surprise with Trevor station at the very beginning didn't we with that bridge and also the remains of the platforms are there and then we lost the track bed after a muddy start I'd probably give this one a 6 out of 10 rating. Canal is up there. Canal Road, Railway and the River Dee. Now entering Langochland. Not long now, I'm ready for a coffee. Sadly the track bed under the approach Langochland has been built on look. The station 
it's probably about another five minutes walk down here this is nice isn't it old mark one luggage carries there look kind of van at the back beautiful station i've never rode this line that's that should one of these days and come back no trains running today i don't believe it is a weekday but very much doubt we'll get to have a look either but i'll get as close as i possibly can let's make out platform one there look three carriages in a maroon livery on platform two old luggage carts there look it's nice this isn't it definitely need to come back booking office through there I'm just thinking this carriage here they must have either craned it in and put it in situ or put it there before the bridge was blocked off at the other side because there's only a short section of track underneath that bridge probably less than the length of that carriage or it's just being deceptive but even so they would have had to have pulled it in by rope or something to have done it be interesting i'd love to know how that carriage was positioned there and how long it's been there here is a beautiful image showing Lang Gochland station look you can see there's a double decker bus on the right hand side i'm going to roughly say this is in the 1950s and it's showing the river on the left hand side but also notice the bridge going over we've just been looking at that questioning about how they got those carriages into the head shunt siding at the station so you can see from the shadow it is in fact a very narrow bridge and the fact it is blocked off shows it is very much a short piece of track. I'd love to know, again, how those carriages got into that siding. And here we are, back where we began five videos ago. We've walked the Langochlan Canal all the way to Poncasilti Aqueduct. And then we did that amazing video of Ponca Silty Aqueduct without the water inside. We got the railway at Robun, didn't we? Nice short disused railway walk. And also that culvert with the bridge going underneath, above the water, but below the railway. Finally finishing off with the railway walk from Trevor back to Langochlan, right about here. Five videos. If you've missed any of those, I'll put them in the same section for you so you can go back and look at them. Potentially there'll be links at the end of this as well when it is finished. Please like, subscribe, comment below. Stuff to come back up for around here? I think there is. Keep an eye out. Bye bye for now. I'll be sure to be back in Wales again at some point. But in the meantime, please follow me on all of the social medias popping up below on the screen. They'll keep you updated with further visits, videos and upcoming explores as and when they happen. See you in the next one.